have you already met your future spouse is this person currently in your life or not just yet this reading is both for those of you that are single and also those of you that are in a relationship and would like to check if the person that you are currently with is actually going to be your future spouse. Of course, these readings are general ones and even though this message was definitely meant to find you, if you don't resonate with the reading at all, that is okay, you don't have to claim it, it doesn't have to be for you. Trust your intuition and take the messages that you believe are for you and let the rest go. Look at the piles that you see in front of you and choose one group, one, two, three, that you intuitively feel the most drawn to. The timestamp for that group will be in the description box and also in the comment section. You find your timestamp, you click on it, and then I'll see you in your reading. So feel free to pause the video right now to focus on the inflow and outflow of your breath for a while that is going to calm your mind and let you connect with your intuition better allow you to choose the right pile for yourself so do that now pause the video and i'll see you in your reading group one you guys chose the seven of pentacles card and let's see what other car card <laughs> let's see what other card tarts <laughs> tarot cards we have for you so first of all we're going to see if it's someone that you already know or not so your card is seven of pentacles the next card for that is the four of pentacles reversed and we also have the three of wands reversed so this is going to tell us yes or no do you know this person or no um and later on we are going to see quickly what are the characteristics possible zodiac signs and messages for you for this person so this is going to be quite a short reading but i have a bunch of future spouses readings guys so if you would like to figure out further um further information just check out the playlist i will put it up here also in the uh description box okay so the short answer here is that i think you know them but i don't think it's someone that you are with at the moment I don't think you guys see each other yet as potential romantic partners. It might be someone that you met or it might be like an old friend. It might be someone that you've seen because I do see that you guys kind of know each other, but you still need like this connection needed the time to grow. Seven of, Seven of Pentacles. That's why like at the time when you guys met, this was not like ready. Maybe you were taken. Maybe they were taken. Maybe you guys had totally different plans. It, like the timing was wrong that's how it feels four of cups reverse it's someone that you didn't even think of again it might be because you maybe you were in a relationship or they were they were in the relationship at the time when you guys were seeing each other uh, meeting or you met maybe it was just once and the two of ones reverse they were like not plans yet to for this person to be your romantic partner like you guys didn't ever take this connection a step further maybe you were kind of friends i'm not sure but i don't know i don't think that you like yes i know <laughs> i do think that you guys know this person but i don't think that you're friends or you're close i don't think so this connection needed a time to grow so let's see maybe these cards first of all we have the ace of swords so now we're uh, going to see this person's, in general, their vibe. Maybe something that will, it's, you know, that will be a sign for you that it's that specific person. We have the Knight of Swords as well. So mm, feels like a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius energy, like heavy energy of these signs in their chart of air signs. Someone that you had a great communication with, someone that you had... Like you guys have the same type of um, humor. You were talking. Um, so I'm getting distracted because someone's walking outside. Let me just close the window. Yeah, so you guys have a lot of interests and the conversation flows really well. The communication was very easy with this person. Um, it's very possible that you guys have the same kind of mindset. And in general, I see this person being a very good communicator. 
uh, someone that is driven, someone that is motivated with the Knight of Swords, someone that is also quite stubborn, I'm gonna say, someone that is quite a big character, they believe in themselves and they, um, they're not shy. Yeah, they're not shy. They are, it feels like a, a person, a, a knight in a shining armor, literally. Uh, this person likes to shine, actually, uh, especially with their intellect, with how smart they are, with everything that they know. Um, they like to talk, they like to um, get into debates, verbal debates or discussions, etc. They like to show their point of view. Um, they enjoy talking with people and they enjoy putting themselves out there. I feel like they're very bold and uh, driven and forward, very forward energy. Interesting, another Seven of Pentacles card. Hmm, two Seven of Pentacles cards. Okay, so this is just talking about someone patient. Very possibly you were in a relationship when this person wasn't and maybe they were thinking that maybe one day, you know, that they can one day get to know you better, one day they will be able to get close to you or not in a stalking kind of way. I don't think they've been, you know, stalking you for years or months. No, it's just like that feeling that they had that there was something between you two, but you know, obviously there was a blockage and they couldn't or you guys couldn't even see this becoming a thing. Um, but in general, I see this person being quite chill and patient and even though they are very forward and outspoken, um, they can also be very chill and like take a step back if needed. I don't think they are pushy at all. The Magician, so another card of communication. So this person talks a lot. That's definitely what I can say. And I feel like whatever they do, like for work, for living, it does involve heavily either managing people or managing projects from the from the perspective of like a, a person that is like co coordinating things. Um, or it, this person could be like somehow using their writing skills as well at work a lot. So they might be maybe a copywriter or just writer, any kind of writer, um, maybe creating content or something like that. Or it could be managing people and being the person that like speaks up, being the person that leads the conversation, leads the the meeting, that's how I see it. The magician also makes me think of a person that has it all. Obviously no one has it all, but um, but it's a kind of a person that seems to have it all. So it's this kind of a person, you know, that you look at and they, they seem like they have, I, I mean, they can, you know, it doesn't have to be they just, the fact that they just seem, but from the outside perspective, it looks like everything is perfect for them. Their career is perfect, their connections, friendships, maybe relationships, um, romantic or not, friendly, family are great. And like, they look like they have everything under control. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting. Um, again, doesn't mean that it has to be this way. It of, of course it can be, but the magician seems to have it all or does have it all. Um, my opinion is just that sometimes we think that someone, you know, has a perfect life and this person might actually be struggling or not thinking that way. That's, that's what I meant. Also with a magician, I think it might be someone that you might look up to or you might look at and be in awe and be surprised like positively or admire in, a, in some sense doesn't have to be only like romantically or um, because of their looks or so like it doesn't have to be that way it also could be because of their work ethics or their life in general their connections there and the way like their skill or something like that yeah the magician is also very skillful at something so this person is extremely skillful at one specific thing let's see what else we have so we have a gemini <laughs> there we go with the knight of swords ace of swords so definitely big gemini energy here um yeah, someone with a lot of brains, someone very smart, quite logical. 
Mm hmm Okay, very funny as well. And outspoken, sarcastic too. They they know people a lot. Like they know people really well, that's what I meant. They just know how to behave in certain situations and how other people might react. Like they're really good at reading people and reading the the energy of the room. That's how it feels. And they always know what to say. We also have Pisces. Mm -hmm. So might be saying that this person is, uh, again, skillful. I want to say creative, but skillful is a really good word here because I think uh, with the magician and Pisces, Pisces usually are very skillful at like one specific thing. They have a talent at something. And it might be natural talent or it might be just a talent that they were honing for a long time. A skill that they've, they've been honing for a long time and they became really good at it. Uh, but Pisces in general are also quite sensitive and um, mm -hmm, dreamy. <laughs> dreamy. I, I was thinking about, about uh, dreamy eyes. Let's see. We have step out of your comfort zone and we have your commitment is being tested. So I think these cards are just mm, your final cards that are giving you advice about this connection. Once you guys are going to figure out who this person is, the spirit is saying that um, you should you should try to step outside of your comfort zone with this person. What that means is maybe it would be you to reach out first or um, just do things a little bit differently with this person. Also, I might be saying for some of you that this person wouldn't be your first pick, you know? Mm, just like the fact that you wouldn't be straight away attracted to this kind of energy but once you get to know them you see that you are very attracted so that's that's why i feel like it's it's you know step outside of your comfort zone give this person a chance and then we have your commitment is being tested yeah your commitment is being tested so i think it's just talking about the timeline here and the overall timeline yeah timeline of this uh connection um of the fact that at the beginning you guys didn't even think this could be the one and i think it will turn out for you to be the one <laughs> mm. and the fact that there might be some challenges in general in this connection but that's not what we're we are reading for today so hope this answers your question and it tells you who this person um, or yeah, I guess because for you it's kind of yes, no answer. Yes, you know them. No, you don't know them really well. So I'm not sure if you guys by now know who this person is, if you figured it out. Um, but I hope it somehow helped or at least uh, brought some entertainment for you tonight, today, whatever time it is at the place that you're watching this reading from. So <laughs> thanks guys for being here. Uh, check out my future spouse playlist if you are interested in that topic and I also have different readings on my channel if you guys are interested in different topics. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me out a lot to grow my channel. Leave a like, lets me know that you guys want to see more like this one and if you would like to book a personal reading with me the link is in the description box. I'll see you guys in my next one, bye! Group 2, you guys chose the Ace of Pentacles. Let's see if you know your future spouse or not. First of all, let's start off with these cards. They will tell us if it's a yes or no, uh, including the Ace of Pentacles. And later on, we will see the characteristics or uh, any kind of signs that the universe wants you to know about, about this person. By the way, this is going to be quite a short reading, but I have a bunch of future spouse readings on my channel if you guys want uh, any further information and we also will check the possible zodiac signs so first of all we have the ace of pentacles that you guys chose i know the camera is getting like unfocused sorry about that we also have the seven of no eight of swords eight of swords we have the four of swords we have the judgment in reverse Short and simple, no. I don't think you know your future spouse yet. I see this as a new connection with the Ace of Pentacles, something new coming to your life, judgment reverse. Literally, this person is not 
anywhere close right now. They're not in any of your um, friend circles. I actually think you will change your friend circle a bit or you will start going somewhere where you meet new people and there will be like a new community of like-minded people. Um, and that's where you're going to meet this person. But again, I have a bunch of readings talking about where, when, how, etc. So feel free to check them out. Uh, I will put the future spouse playlist in the comment section in the description box. We have the four of swords. That would be a no. Well, it's like a rest. I don't see you guys. You know, there's a blindfold also on this eight of swords lady. So no, you don't see this person yet. But I feel like it might be soon for you. As soon as you are going to like take up and take up on some new interests or join a new community. Yeah, this person is just not there yet. Let's see the information that we can actually learn about them. Interesting, we have double Ace of Pentacles and then group one, we had to double the cards as well, like here and here, the same cards. So synchronicities today are, are fun. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles is so someone, mm, someone stable, someone loyal, someone um, that also cares a lot about their career, and they are career and financially driven, I can say. Mm -hmm. They like spending money on good things in life. They like the luxury as well. That's how I'm seeing it. Four of Wands would be about... I hope you guys can hear me because I had to kind of sit down. Um, and yeah, the microphone is... I hope it's picking, picking me up. Whew. Oh my God, I got tired. <laughs> Okay, four of wands, that's your environment. So I think, again, it's the community. You are going to meet this person at some new community. It's like if you started going to like a new yoga class, it's just an example, and this person is there and you meet them there. Or you get a new job and this person is there. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like it, it feels more community-based. It might be like a convention or like a hobby of yours, like something with your interests, uh, connected with your interests. Mm -hmm. It does feel very like lighthearted, not like work, <laughs> not like going to work, um, but very lighthearted, but someone from the community. Mm -hmm. So talking about this person, this person is also a uh, very family oriented, quite close to their family and uh, a traditional list, I would say. Not in everything, but in some things. We have King of Pentacles. Very uh, similar energy. I mean, connected, not similar, but connected with the Ace of Pentacles really well. I see this person being either a boss or having, being like, kind of like at the top of the career ladder, doing really well at work. And if they are not yet, they will be. They are very driven and career focused. With the King of Pentacles, I'm seeing someone giving. Uh, I'm seeing someone very kind and fair and cool, calm and collected. <laughs> and oh, the last card for the Tarot, we have the King of Cups, which is very emotionally mature person. Um, so this person doesn't have a huge emotional bag that they carry with them to the next uh, relationship connection. I don't think so. They are very, um, like they can settle down now because they've been through all the lessons that they had to with love and they're emotionally mature and they're very loving and giving and kind and it's a lovely, it's a lovely set of cards to get, honestly. So let's see what else we have. I'm going to stand up. We have Sagittarius. So very possibly this person um, might be a Sagittarius sun or rising. Sagittarius people. They are these hmm, free souls, free spirits. They often don't um, commit that easily because they are looking for the one. And once they find or they, once they feel like they found the one... Uh, they do settle and they are very loyal. Uh, other than that, Sagittarius is very fun and lighthearted energy. Um, 
someone that is very adventurous and philosophical and thinks of uh, like asks bigger questions in life we also have nothing is yet set in stone so i think again it's about like you guys just don't know this person yet nothing is yet set in stone um oh i'm getting a message from the spirit saying that you might be a bit feeling a bit down because you haven't found that person yet but the spirit is saying like don't worry um it's not like you don't have time anymore this person will come <laughs> in, the, in their divine timing with the surrender to the divine i think with this card it also tells you to maybe stop trying to push so so hard if you are uh, to look for love because I think it will naturally find you once you just let go. Um, so don't give up on love. That's the message from the spirit. And that's what I have for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I have a bunch of different future spouse readings. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description box. Um, and in the comment section and other than that you can book a personal reading with me so i can focus on your personal energy <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next one take care bye hey group three you guys chose a chariot card okay let's see what other cards we have for you so these cards are going to tell us if it's a yes or no do you know this person or not yet and then the next ones uh these here will um just tell us a little bit about your person um, maybe some signs that you might see or their character traits and this is going to be quite a short reading short and sweet but I have a bunch of uh, readings on the future spouse in general so uh, if you would like to look into this topic further you can find a lot of videos on this topic on my channel including how where when um, your soulmate and how will this person treat you etc etc how they will pursue you i think that's the video that i'm uploading next week so subscribe <laughs> if you haven't yet okay and let's see we have the chariot we have the fool we have the seven of cups and the lovers oh my oh my oh my oh my yeah i think this is the only group where i'm gonna say yes like yes 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 i think you guys are either in a relationship right now or you're talking to this person right now or this person is going to come into your life like extremely soon but you already know them the fool is the new beginning the chariot progress um the lovers it's the couple it's a soulmate connection and the seven of cups fantasizing about someone so i think that again you either are already in a connection with this person if so and if these cards resonate it's definitely your person it's your future spouse uh, or you guys are soon going to be you're talking with someone or if not like you know this person and you guys are going to start dating soon okay from your uh other tarot cards we have the emperor so someone um that is very responsible serious it's a serious serious connection like they take you seriously um they take this connection relationship very seriously they want to be there for you they they show you every step of the way that you can count on that on them that you can rely on them um they're responsible and yeah this is definitely a really great future husband material or spouse in general. The Emperor. We have the Nine of Wands. Hmm. Let me see. Other cards. We have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So again, I think you already are in a relationship with this person or a connection with this person. Because mm, I'm getting this energy of like back away. <laughs> so um again if you are in a connection with someone i see this person having their their eyes only on you they're not talking they're not looking at anyone else they're not seeing anybody else they're very defensive about their territory like not allowing anyone in or cross the line like you can trust them 
So this person is definitely trustworthy. It's just, I feel like you guys, some of you might have trust issues and it makes this connection a bit difficult, but this person tries really hard to show you that you can trust them. Mm -hmm. Other than that about this person, so this person doesn't like changes in general with the Four of Pentacles. They prefer things to be the way that they usually are. So that might mean that they don't change their jobs a lot. They haven't changed their career in a very long time or the place where they live or uh, you know, the apartment that they live in, etc. Uh, so they get used to things and they don't let go very easily of their lifestyle of routines etc so this person definitely has a routine that they follow like religiously <laughs> you know any any kind of routine it could be a spiritual routine it could be health routine it could be workout routine or just everyday routine etc um mm -hmm. i'm just seeing like actually uh an earth type of a person i'm seeing a taurus i'm seeing a Virgo, I'm seeing uh, Capricorn, but also, let's see, let's see, I'm seeing Cancer. We have some Zodiac cards here, but we'll see in a, in a second. Taurus energy, very, very Tor, Tor how do you say that? Taurian? <laughs> very Taurian energy? <laughs> no idea if that's how you, if that's how you say it, but, mm -hmm. okay, Knight of Pentacles, uh, so someone that works really hard, someone that takes things slow, um, someone that might not seem like uh, like a party animal, I would say, like someone that might not feel or seem, someone that might not seem very fun or funny at the beginning, like it's the type of a person that you kind of once you get to know them, they open up and you realize how crazy they are in a positive sense. Crazy as in really fun and, uh, you know, silly and goofy, etc. But they, they don't show it at the beginning because they don't, don't open up that easily to people. It takes them time. Um, that's how I see it. Someone that works very hard. And let's see what else we have. Conclusions are within reach. So again... Oh my god <laughs> um oh my god i think if you guys are in a relationship right now and you're not um engaged yet i think that soon you will be <laughs> but yeah actually I, I realize now that i never did any kind of reading for engagement like when will you get engaged or how or so i mean do you want to get that spoiled how will you get engaged let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a reading on that. Um, conclusions are within reach. So yeah, if you're in a relationship, that's just what I said. But if you're not in a relationship, again, it's, an, it's another card that shows us that you will soon be in a relationship. Ooh, we have a Capricorn. So you see, just as I was saying, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. Capricorn energy, everything that I was talking about here, like, I don't want to repeat myself. Capricorn energy. Oh my, oh my god, I can't believe it. I literally was saying Capricorn and Cancer, that's how I'm seeing it. That's what I'm feeling. It's so funny, I gave you three Earth signs and just one Cancer. <laughs> one water sign and we have Cancer here. So very family oriented, uh, maybe tradition, tradi traditionalist, there we go. Traditionalist, driven independent mm -hmm. okay all right all right oh my god this was such a fun reading and honestly i was feeling very tired so i wasn't sure how i'm going to do this last one but i feel i did pretty well and if you think so too don't forget to leave a like <laughs> it lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this one uh feel free to check out one of my previous future spouses readings if you would like to learn more about this person or you can book a personal reading with me so i can focus on your specific energy other than that i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you bye bye